Hello, come stai? Benvenuti a Vicky Goes Veg. What I'm doing is I am going to be doing a spaghetti with zucchini and yellow squash with parmesan, cherry tomatoes and garlic. Let's get cracking. Green zucchini and yellow zucchini, okay? Both of them are exactly the same. They taste almost the same. I've got this here. I have some water which is absolutely boiling here. So I've got a nice big handful of salt in there. Let's get a pan on the go. Alrighty. I have some beautiful olive oil over here. First, I'm going to be putting in the zucchini inside. And before I forget that I need to put Now I am actually putting the zucchini first because if I put the lassun in the first the lassun is going to go really brown. Nice. Some chilies. And I have got about 3 to 4 cloves of smashed garlic in here. Alright. Then I have got about 2 stalks of spring onions which I'm going to put in as well all right give it a little toss a few cherry tomatoes in here as well then I have some nice parsley here Wow, nice. How's it going down here? It's going pretty good. I think time for some sale, a little bit of salt, some cracked black pepper. Awesome. I'm just going to throw a little bit of a couple of leaves of basil here so they start frying including some of the parsley. I think I might need a little bit of more salt in this. Definitely the pasta should be cooked by now. We will take this out and swiftly just turn it over. Nice. Give it a nice mix. Wow. Sensational. Awesome. Let's go for a plate up. Lovely grated parmesan, nice parsley on it, nice basil. Spaghetti with zucchini and yellow squash with parmesan, cherry tomatoes and garlic. I'm back from my siesta and let's start cooking again. Now after that sensational pasta, what have I got now? I've got a really nice risotto. Risotto is made with arborio rice which is like a thick short grain rice. Once again, if you don't find it anywhere close to your house, there are these gourmet websites where you can go on, they come pretty cooked. Not badly priced at all, but I'll tell you, if you don't have this rice, you can't call it risotto, alright? By rule, for one part of rice, you need three parts of stock. I've got my vegetable stock, which I actually make in quite a bulk. 
put this onto a simmer. Voila. So I'm going to start off with chopping up half a medium onion. So once I'm going to get all the prep out of the way, uske baad hum hamari risotto chadayenge. Half a medium onion, three or four shallots just cut into half, one medium stalk of a spring onion, portobello and button mushrooms into halves or thin slices, three to four cloves of chopped garlic. So I'm going to be starting off with a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. So let's get going with the shallots into the pan, followed by some onions, mushrooms. The reason why I haven't yet put the garlic is because the garlic fries too fast and it gets cooked really quickly. So what I've learned through practice and through experience is garlic will go always a little later. Super. I have some wild mushrooms here as well. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just roughly chop it. Okay. This is going to give me a nice, almost like a caramelly or chocolate kind of flavor in it. Alright, now they are nicely roasted, the onions, the garlic and the mushrooms. What I'm going to do, it's time to put a little bit of risotto rice. I would do like about 50 to 60 grams of risotto. Give it a nice mix. So now, once you feel that if your pan is starting to chip up here, that's the time where you start ladling your stock a little by little. Wow! Alright! India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.